I'm out on the road right now, but I wanted to share a quick little tip that I learned recently that really speeds up my workflow. Um, it involves creating titles in Adobe Premiere or any other video editor extremely quickly. Um, the normal process would be uh, in Premiere, you go to title, new title, um, and you can create one based on a template to save some of your settings like drop shadows and font styles and all that kind of stuff. Um, so normally what you do is you would create a title, edit your text, close out, and then drop it into your timeline is where, wherever you want it to be. Um, this works fine if you're only doing a couple titles. Um, but I'm going to show you a, a thing that I learned recently that really, really speeds up uh, the creation of many titles at once. So I'm just going to delete this out of the timeline. The power of this comes from a spreadsheet. Um, so the first thing we want to do is in our first cell, it's going to be the name of the variable. Um, so I'm just using name. And then coming down, we want all of our titles um, underneath that in the same column. Um, so once you have all of your titles put in, um, and there's no limit on how many you can have, uh, we're going to export that to a CSV file. Now once you have that file created, we are going to get into Photoshop and we're going to create a new file. And we want this to match the resolution of the video that we are editing. So um, I shoot mine in um, 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080. So we're just going to hit OK. And what we want to do is create a text box. And just type in the word name. And we can delete out that background because we want this to be transparent. Um, and now we can add any styling that we want to our text. I'm just going to put a simple drop shadow on this just to make it a little bit more visible. And I'm just going to create a purple box underneath this um, just to add some more styling to, to the thing, to the title. We'll move that below the text so you can actually see the text. And now once we have that done, we can go into image, variables, and define. Now we're going to go to the layer we want to replace text with, which is name, and text replacement. We are going to put in the title uh, that we have in the spreadsheet, which I just have as name. It could be whatever you want. Uh, click next and create a new data set and we have name selected here. Now we'll go to import and select that CSV file. Hit open, okay, and you know everything worked if this value here changed. So we can go ahead and hit apply and then hit okay to save everything. So you can see here, this is gonna be the styling that we'll see in our video editor. Um, so if we don't want this purple background, uh, this um, full opacity, we can lower it down so we can see through it and just have a little bit of a tint to it. And this you can get as crazy as you want. You can add images, logos, anything you want. Um, you can even you can change fonts to whatever you want. I'm just using the default ones that I usually use. So now we're going to go to File, Export, and Data Sets as Files. And select the folder you want to save them in and the file naming that you want. Um, I do data set number first um, because then that will keep them in sequential order in both your browser and in your video editor. So you just hit OK, let Photoshop do its thing, and now we can come back to our video editor and we have all of our titles as Photoshop files. Get that out of the way. That we can just drag and drop right into our project. And since there's multiple layers, it's going to ask us if we want to merge them, which we do. And now all we have to do is drag and drop our titles uh, where they need to go. And there you have it. Um, this might not be the quickest way of doing one or two titles, 
Um, but if you're doing many, many titles, or if you want to keep the consistency between all the videos that you edit, um, this is a really great way um, to keep that consistency and crank out titles really quick. Um, so I hope you learned something. Uh, if you like this video, please like it uh, and subscribe. It really means a lot to me when you guys are watching these videos, uh, especially when you comment on them. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, leave them below and I'll try to answer them uh, in case you come across any problems in this process, which I had a few um, weird little issues that I came across with. So um, if you have any questions, I'm here to help. And thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys later.